Prabhupada. Yeah, because in Nigeria, Prabhupada is also there. So, I think uh, certainly you had this opportunity to go to Japan. And I was a spiritual, spiritual seeker. Yeah. And I, I tried very hard to become happy with drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But it wasn't working for me. I, really, I thought at the time that by taking LSD that I would have experience of God. <laughs> but after a few years, I would go up and come down. More confused than ever. And so somehow I went to, to Japan and I had this intuition that something spiritual is going to happen for me. Now I would call it the Paramatma, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the concept is fine with So when I got to Japan, it was very materialistic. And I thought, well, oh, did I make a mistake? Then I met Mahatma Fell in love with her. That's something. <laughs> anyway, when I was, it just so happened that at that exact time, uh, the Prabhupada had sent some devotees to Tokyo to begin the Hare Krishna movement here. And I met, I met the Hari Nam party in Ginza. Yeah, there was a few devotees there. I have a picture of it. Someone took a picture. And I was very attracted to the Hare Krishna mantra. But honestly, I have to say, I thought the devotees didn't look very healthy. Yeah, I thought their clothes were really strong. <laughs> but the mantra and um, their personalities were sublime. So I joined the Kirtan and then we walked all through Ginza and we were chanting. And they invited me back to the temple. Which was in Shibuya. And they had a little van. That they, they, they were using to travel. They weren't taking the train. And so I went to the temple. And I saw, that's the first time I saw a picture of Krishna. And they told me that God's a person. And when I saw that picture, I thought, if God's a person, then he probably looks like that. <laughs> and uh, different devotees were telling me the philosophy a little bit. And, and immediately it answered a lot of questions I had. Because I was thinking, I'm on pure spirit, I'm God. But at the same time, I'm lost and I'm confused. Yeah. And I was praying to God for, for 
for guidance. In fact, I was almost like、um, fanatical about it. I wanted to have a direct experience. I didn't want to believe some teaching. And, and so I was confused because, on the one hand, I thought I'm pure spirit, I'm God, but yet I'm praying to God for help. There's a term for this in psychology, it's called cognitive dissonance.、Right. So, the inside, my mind and my heart were in conflict. Anyway, I found that Lord Chaitanya's teaching that was simultaneously one and different answered my question. And that God's a person. And we're eternally his part and parcel servant. And the path to him is to surrender and love. そして神にたどり着く道というのは、身を委ねること、そして愛する。So this all, for suddenly, suddenly it all made sense to me. で、まあ、突然ですけれども、それすべてすごく、まあ、納得、しっくりきたんですね。Just so happened that that day was John m a s t e r で、ちょうどその日は、あジャンマスタミーの日だったんですね。So I stayed overnight. And then the next day, Sri the Prabhupada came. He was also there. And I was immediately、uh, enthralled by his, his presence. Yeah, he radiated peace and happiness. I saw this person has what I want. And,、uh, I just immediately wanted to become a student. Yeah, so that's how it all began for me. So every time I come back to Tokyo and I come to the temple,、um, it's, it's like this is where it all began for me. So you know, I have a special bond and attachment. For this country. Yeah, so, everything that I, I discovered and、um, gained、uh, by my visit to this con Tokyo is, still exists here today. イスコン東京で、まあ、発見したこと、気づいたことっていうのはまだ、うん、まだ、うん、何実在存在しているの。シュープラッパーズ・シューラッパーズの教えだったり、ハリクシャのマンタラだったり、The forms of Gordy Tai and Radha Govinda and Lord Jagannath、このご神道の姿。They weren't here when I came. Well, to learn Jagannath was actually. So please take advantage of this temple. Yeah, to join the Kirtan. 
Take prasadam. Prasadam Leave all your anxieties at the door. And just enjoy being the servant of, of God. And the association of all your God brothers and sisters. Take a break from the illusory world of Maya. Can always go back. <laughs> okay, so I think I won't keep you too much longer. Whoa, more judo for the sake. Not much more judo. Does anyone have anything they want to share or or ask? <laughs> yes, she done. Much uh, while giving the decision, he was telling us that it's, uh, one of the offenses while chanting not to think of anything else. So while chanting, is it when it comes uh, automatically, it's service to the devotees or service to God or some, uh, you, uh, some pastimes of Krishna and what you read through scriptures. あ、で、あの、あの、Thank you for that question. That's a, a good clarifying question. Yeah, so we have 10 offenses in chanting. <laughs> yeah, and these are guidelines. Right? If we want to, um, if we want to get the fruit or the result of the, what the mantra can give us, yeah. So Krishna is present in His name. Yeah, so one of the things we want to experience. Uh, from chanting is the presence of God in His name. This is to us. This is like the perfection. And we want to cultivate a loving relationship with with God. By singing His name. And acknowledging our relationship that we have. So the tenth offense in chanting is uh, to be inattentive when you're chanting. Why is that an offense? Well, just imagine if you came to uh, my house. You knock on the door. I open the door. And you say, hello, Sanya Dave. And I go like this. What did you say? Oh. So, you know, how would you feel as a person? You feel like I could care less about you. So Krishna is present in his name. Krishna 
Of course, he understands we're conditioned souls. We're lost in thinking all day long. We're always thinking about past and future. And because of that, we can't even notice that we're alive right now. Right. Therefore, we feel unhappy and dissatisfied. Yeah, what we want isn't out there, it's actually in here. So, um, in the beginning of chanting, we make an effort uh, to be aware of our life and to be aware of the sound of the mantra. で、チャンティングのその最初の段階では、その自分のその、cultivate cultivate a feeling of gratitude towards the Lord. そして神への感謝の気持ちを育みます。Because he is the source of our life. というのは神は私たちの人生、人生の源だから。And he's present before us in his name. So from our side, we try and make an attempt to uh, have a relationship. Now, if thoughts come into our mind, all kinds of thoughts come into our mind, right? Because the purpose of the mind is to think. But if we're just daydreaming, we're awake, but we're thinking something else, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that is our... Um, Standard operating mode. Default mode. <laughs> but now we're practicing yoga. And we're trying to wake up from that mode. That unconscious mode. So as soon as we notice that we're thinking about something else and we're not hearing the mantra, that's it's normal for us for that to happen. There's no need to feel guilty or angry at yourself. You just notice, oh, I'm thinking about something else. Yeah, in terms of yoga, this is a very critical moment. This is the moment where we begin to awaken. Who's aware that there's thinking going on? Who is that? What is that? It's, it's not the mind, it's not the thought. It's something else. It's, what it is is the real you. Yeah. And so you have a moment of awareness. And you use your free will given to you by God. To turn back to the sound of his name. That is an act of pure love. So there's awakening occurring in that moment and bhakti, love. Now, if you're daydreaming, you're thinking, but you don't know you're thinking. Yeah. 
Even if you're thinking of service, you have sleep. And you're not there for the name either. So, even from that, you want to acknowledge, oh, my attention went somewhere else. And you bring it back to this moment. You become aware that I'm alive. And my life's coming from Krishna. And you feel grateful for that. And bring your attention back to the mantra. So that's why we practice japa. Otherwise, we would just do kirtan. It's so much easier. <laughs> but no, no, we have to use our free will. And we have to consciously choose Krishna. And we have to have that opportunity to see that we're not the mind and that we're this pure point of consciousness. So, you can stay in the dream as long as you want, but eventually you have to wake up and see the difference between being awake and dreaming. Each one of us has to do that. Nobody can do it for us. Our guru can't do it for us. All that he can do is say that's what you have to do. <laughs> and Krishna is not going to do it because that would be interfering with our free will. Without free will, there's no love. You come to the door, uh, I have, you know, the choice to be with you or not. Was that helpful, Sri Yes, thank you. It was a long answer. <laughs> Beautiful answer. But that's, this is my passion, really. Because honestly, I chanted for 20 years. And I didn't feel like I'd really woken up or anything. And after uh, re examining my practice, I understood that I wasn't being present for the holy name. I was making this tenth offense. And when I wasn't present for the holy name, I was actually increasing my false concept of myself.
What do you feel when you chant now? He needs to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very happy. Honestly speaking, I would say maybe I'm halfway there. I mean, as far as if you, you know, look at the bhakti ladder, right? Yeah, so, and maybe just still in a little bit of anarta nirviti and uh, a little bit of nishta, kind of in between. <laughs> But I definitely feel, you know, um, God's presence within me. I don't feel like the holy name is something separate and out there and I'm over here. So really I'm, I'm starting to uh, have the experience that I wanted you know, so many years ago when I was just a young boy. <laughs> it was actually 61 years ago. <laughs> I was 13. Uh, I remember sitting down, wanting to meditate, wanting to find my find the truth. <laughs> not knowing what to do. And actually when I met Srila Prabhupada, and he gave me gave us the four regulated principles. Thought, well, this person is an authentic teacher. Yeah, you have to have a foundation to build your house on. You can't you can't awaken it and at the same time uh, be uh, controlled by the cravings of the mind and the body. Right, you can't start a fire and pour water on so when I heard the four regulated principles, I wanted to run, a part of me wanted to run away, but part of me was saying, no, this is exactly right. <laughs> Nobody was saying, no teachers were saying those things. They were saying, it's okay, do whatever you want. Lunch is ready. えっと、質問あるんですか。すいません。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっ
That was the first Vyas Puja in Iskon. That hadn't occurred yet. Anyway, uh, Sudama probably gave me a, a garland, a different Sudama. あの、プラパラの首にかけるためのガランドを私が使ってて。And Reveal yourself. Give me some direction. I don't, I don't want anything else. This is what I want. So I can't explain it, but when I bowed down to Srila Prabhupada, I remembered that. It, it was like, you know, the Holy Spirit or the Super Soul telling me, um, here's the answer to your prayer. So my heart was saying that. And my mind was saying, what are you doing by attacking the man? And I felt like, you know, we they say that the crown of a king is very heavy. But when you bow down, that the weight is lifted off your head. So, so I felt a moment of um, re release from my ego. And I just followed my heart. So that was, I, I, that was sort of my early initiation, you could say. I just accepted Prabhupada in that moment. Not to make it all sound too too dramatic, but that was my experience. But there were many moments and many, you know, you know, really uh, important teachings for me. In those early days, it was pretty easy to uh, have Prabhupada's darshan. Really. It became a lot more difficult. You know. We're going to fry uh, Amrita Kutta's brain cells. <laughs> One last small question. Yeah. It was related to first question. You, know, you said that you got your awakening at, at the age of 13. This awakening is connected to our past life's connection or like in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, you know, where we leave, we start again yeah. from this point of view. Well, I, I wouldn't call it an awakening. I would have to translate. I think we all have moments in our life where, um, you know, a moment where we can go different paths, right? Or it becomes clear to us kind of, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. 
、あのね、先にその分岐点というか、自分をいろいろな道が自分の前にあって、自分はこの道に進みたいって、そういう、なんだろう、なんだろう、うん、その確信が訪れる瞬間っていうのは、大しもがあると思います。So, I, th- I think that was a moment where it became clear to me what I wanted. I wanted to, you know, follow the path of awakening, I guess, and everything else wasn't that interesting to me. But at that time, it wasn't that clear. But looking back, I, I could, like, you know, that moment was a, like a pivotal mo- moment for me. So, yeah, you can call it past life or、uh, pre birth plan. <laughs> I'm more in the pre birth planning uh, uh, club these days, honestly speaking. <laughs> okay,、um, time for persona. Thank you so much for your questions and for listening and for、uh, coming to visit this temple. So, Maharaj has today kindly graced uh, uh, three of、uh, four devotees with the initiation. Where is Tokudas? Okay. So, can they stand up? And see、oh, no. They will come. So, you are. So, these are the four devotees. Thank you all. Thank you all. So, we call their names. That's right. okay. so、uh, they can ask for some donations.、Uh, big shop, they,、uh, everyone who w i s h it is optional, they can give to them. And finally, they will give all the donations to Maharaj. Maharaj will finally give to r o p a So, it's donation. <laughs> So, Prabhuji and Mataji will be also here for giving you any guidance on any of the topics. So, if,、uh, for a few minutes,、uh, if anyone has any questions, they can go to Maharaj and they can ask. And、uh, parallelly, everyone can get up and take the c h a r n a m r u t and go for the p r a s a d a m So, everyone can get up, they can take,、uh, take the d a r s h a n of the Lord, take the photos of the Lord.